the past couple of years, there have been a lot of breakthroughs in the recovery and testing of ancient DNA. You'll see more and more articles on the SinclairResearch.com website because in many cases I'm able to compare Sinclair DNA to the work those folks in the field are doing. On the SinClair.com, SinclairResearch.com website, you'll see a new section called Sinclair Connections to the Merovingian Kings. In that post, I go over the possible DNA of King Tutankhamun. If it's really King Tut we're looking at, then it's a major breakthrough because guess what? He's a European. In the same post, I write about what might be the DNA of King Louis XVI. If it's really Louis' DNA, then we now know the DNA of the Merovingian kings. Finally, I talk about William the Conqueror's DNA. You'll notice, by the way, that I'm using the word if a lot. That's because some of these discoveries are being made in crazy ways. It's as much fun reading about how the researchers got the DNA as it is learning about the results they're discovering. Check back here for occasional updates and lots more postings about the DNA of the Sinclair family and how we compare it to research in the field. Thank you.